Hello everyone, this is Wade from High Tech Legion. In this video, we're going to be giving you an overview and showing you benchmarks for a power supply in Thermaltake's Smart M series, the Smart M750 watt power supply. As you'll notice, it is a semi-modular power supply with the 24 pin and an 8 pin connector uh, hardwired into the the system itself. It is 80 plus bronze rated and it comes with a five year warranty. So let's take a closer look at the power supply and then show you the benchmarks. So here we have a closer look at the Thermaltake Smart M750 Watt ATX power supply. First thing to notice is that we've got a nice heavy steel casing on it. Uh, it's very sturdy and you've got logos on all sides of it indicating that it what uh, series and wattage the power supply is. On the bottom of it you've got a power chart here which states that you've got 25 amps on the 5 volt, 25 amps on the 3.3 volt for a max output of 130 watts and you've got 62 amps on the 12 volt rail with 744 watts max output and your additional power information here. As mentioned earlier this does come with a five year warranty and it has a 80 plus bronze rating. It is semi modular so we've got the 20 plus 4 pin power connector hardwired in. Um, you can separate the four pins off but it is clipped in by default when you pull it out of the box since most motherboards support 24 pins. Same goes for the 8 pin CPU. It's 4 plus 4 pin CPU connector and you can separate it if you need to. As far as modular connectors, you've got four connectors for your Molex, SATA, and floppy disks and two PCI Express connections and a little chart here showing what's what. Um, we have a total of four PCI Express connections, the nine SATA connections, and six Molex connections, and it also comes with a four pin um, adapter for floppy disk drives. If you still happen to need the four pin for a fan controller or a floppy disk drive. On the bottom of the power supply unit, you see we've got a honeycomb uh, piece of mesh here over the 120 millimeter fan that's used to cool off the interior components and on the back side we also have some honeycomb mesh for ventilation our power switch and our plug for our connections it features over voltage protection under voltage protection short circuit protection as well as a mean time before failure of greater than a hundred thousand hours. So let's take a look at the accessories and then I'll show you the benchmarks for this power supply. First thing we've got is four zip ties for making your cable management nice and neat. You've got your three prong power plug um, for plugging it into your wall and you've got your flat modular cables um, on this one we've got three SATA connections and it's got the six pin connector to go into the back we've got another one with three SATA connections on it cable for with three four pin Molex connections PCI Express with two six plus two pins, so enabling you to plug this two eight pin PCI Express connections in. Then we have another cable with three SATA connections. Another PCI Express cable again with two six plus two pin connectors on it. And a additional uh, cable with three four uh, prong Molex connectors on it 
as well as our floppy disk converter, um, which has the four prongs. You plug the four prong Molex in, and you can still use the connector for something else. But you will get the uh, four pin floppy disk connector if you need to use a floppy disk drive or if your fan controller calls for that for power. You've also got a nice carrying case that you can put all your additional cables and the manual in which comes in multiple languages and is just a fold out um, and the registration card for it. And now let's take a look at the benchmarks. I hope you guys enjoyed the this overview video for the Smart M750 watt power supply from Thermaltake. For the full review, please see www.hightechlegion.com and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter accounts. Take care.